Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm Silburn, uh, as I normally say, straight out of Oche. You know what I mean by that? <laughs> well, this is my second sequel to the uh, follow up to my recent video regarding um, returning residents to still consider going back to Jamaica. Um, I've seen that video, which I did, and uh, lots of comments, lots of views uh, so far. And I spent a lot of time actually going through it and actually trying to get a, a feel because it's important to get a feel of the whole picture. And I'm most concerned. It's very concerning that actually people really believe that they are targeted, that returning residents are targeted. And if that is the case, you, you cannot change a person's perception or their belief if that's what they believe. So one has got to honor that, I believe. One has got to honor the perception or the view from returning residents that they are being targeted. How do we counteract that then? Because I can say, go to Jamaica, man. Come on, guys, I go to Otrius, you know what I mean? We, I, ref I refute every assertion that uh, persons should not go back to Jamaica. I, uh, you know, All those persons are saying that is crap. But no, I can't say that. Because every person has a particular reason. Every person that comment, commented on that video have a particular reason why they said what they say. They believe that they are targeted. And if someone believes that they are targeted, warn to me if I'm to say to ignore that and just to carry on and just to make your way there without taking consideration of the fact that you believe that you're targeted. So this is what we're going to do. This is what I'm going to challenge you to do as well. Let's get to some facts. Let's get down to the bottom of it. Let's drill down. I want to know this. And, and, and this is not just my research only. And this is going to be for your research as well. Let us find out from the government of Jamaica or from the authorities in some way for the past five years. Let's use a marker for the past five years. How many returning residents were killed? or have been killed in Jamaica. How many? And that big ballpoint figure uh, broken down UK, USA, Canada, as they are the main sort of um, diaspora. I, I, I'm not gonna put um, um, visitors in a sense, like from, you know, who are not Jamaican. I'm talking about returning residents. Let's focus on the returning residents bit. And secondly, what I need to find out as well, and what we need to find out as well, I'm saying all of us, how many uh, of them, uh, the perpetrators have been caught. So therefore, the murderers. Uh, who are the murderers? Who are the murderers? So if 160 persons got killed for the past five years, I'm just using that as ballpoint figure, just showing that one out there. Who are the murderers? Who are the person that actually killed them? Right? And then when we identify who are the persons that actually killed them, then what we want to find out now is, was there a relationship with that? When I say relationship, I'm talking about was there a business relationship, if anything? Was, was they, were they known to their killers? Let's, let's drill this thing down a bit. Because if one is targeted, and if one believes that one is targeted, then it's only understandable that you don't place yourself in harm's way for an easy prey to those who are targeting. So therefore, we need to find out how many were killed and who killed them. And what was the relationship that they have. Therefore, we're going to need some inside information as much as possible. Because we need to come down to the nitty gritty, to drill down deep, to get some answers to that. Because I cannot stay here and say, just go back to Jamaica. You know, just because, I mean... I'm bold, I'm strong, and I'm saying, I don't care, I'm going back there. But persons have genuine fear, persons have genuine concern. Persons have relayed their stories about their experiences to their family, to their father, to their mother, and that has got to be taken consideration. You get what I'm saying? So I'm with you, I'm with you. But I need to know some more information. We need to know some more information. Because if it is found out that most of the persons who um, are the perpetrators, are the killers, if they are friends and family, well, you got to draw your, 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 your sort of result from that and say, hang on a second, are they really targeted? 
Because if that's the case, then you're going to say the families are targeted. I mean to say everybody's targeted to a certain extent. When I say everybody, I mean to say every person who has some level of um, wealth or some level of um, standing financially or whatever, they are all targets. I know of persons in Jamaica who said that going home, they have got to take certain precautionary steps. Some have Hawkeye or these um, security services that meet them at their gate or when they're leaving now, depending on what time of the evening or so. So persons in Jamaica are targeted as well because of their financial status or whatever like that. So all I'm trying to say right here is now, we've got to get down to the bottom. We've got to drill all the way down, deep, deep down and to find out exactly what it is. So therefore one can make a very informed decision to say, are you targeted or not? Who are the perpetrators? How are they known? Were they known? Are they lovers? Are, are they business persons? But, but what would be damning is this. If you find out that the majority of them were killed by career criminals, then that would be very damning because that means and that would point that you are being targeted. But we'll draw our our analysis and our results when we get that information in. So that's all I'm trying to say. I'm following up on this, but I don't want to sensationalize it. I want to get to the bottom of it. The bottom. We're going to get to the bottom of it and find out exactly I'm with you. Okay? Straight out of Ochi, Silburn. And remember, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, Silburn TV, and all my other social media. See you later. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.